So what are you showing here? So this is a demonstration of Immersion's tactile feedback technology being used in an application. In this case, what we've done is we've worked with the developer to enable them to put uh, tactile feedback into their application. So it feels like a real guitar. When I run my fingers over the strings, my hand, it, I am feeling a guitar sensation, as if I had plucked a string on a real acoustic guitar. So is that what Immersion does? Immersion is a company that specializes in haptic feedback technology. We've been around for maybe 20 years, and we've done things in gaming, in automotive, in mobile phones. And what we do is we bring the sense of touch to human-computer interaction. So more recently, we've been in many, many Android devices, more than 500 million shipped, including the Galaxy S3, Optimus, Note, Note 2. Those all have Immersion's technology in it. Nice. So this is a... So what, what are these devices? Are these like real devices in the market? Yes. These are uh, Medius Tab devices. They're available in Japan. They're a Docomo uh, carrier uh, device. And this is a demonstration that's showing haptic communication. So what we've done is we've created an API that allows haptic information to be sent between two devices over a wireless network. And so that means that uh, myself and this other person can interact in this virtual space and we can feel each other as, we, as our trails collide. We have a sensation of being present or of touching each other through so the digital device. Haptic feedback, is that just uh, using the vibrator in the phone at the right time? Or is it uh, it requires the right kind of vibrator to be used in the right kind of way. Immersion has a software stack for Android that's, that they've designed and, and licensed to OEMs, which gives us the ability to control the actuator in a much more precise manner than what you typically see. Uh, we also work with OEMs to spec out the right kind of motors and the right kind of drive circuitry to use to give the best possible experience for haptic interaction. So does that mean it needs to be to the millisecond and the, to the intensity that's just perfect yeah. for the feeling? Yeah, Is that we, what you yes, we, we usually control at one millisecond and we have very precise intensity control. We also work on high definition uh, vibrotactile displays that have very high frequency bandwidth. So it's able to display a rich, it's almost like a speaker, uh, a mechanical speaker, so you can feel a wide variety of sensations in your hand. So it also uses the speaker? No, but it, it feels like a speaker in the it sense like that it would be like a subwoofer kind of sensation, but that you feel instead of that you hear. All right, so what's the next, gonna, what's gonna be the next thing? So the next... <laughs> The, you can imagine haptic feedback in the accessories or... Yeah. So like I said, we've been in gaming, we're in console gaming, we've been in PC peripherals, we've been in automotive. Right now we see a huge amount of adoption in mobility, and so we've been working to bring the standard of, of uh, vibration or the standard of, of haptic feedback to a higher level in mobile devices. So for us, getting to a lot more adoption in the marketplace of high quality, high definition haptic experiences is really the next big thing.